now we wait and hopefully this works. Okay. Get out quick. 6 a.m. Wait, no, 12 or 6 a.m. Some like 0.246 inches of snow. Who's this? I wonder who this giant man is. This is, I think his name is Scott, Scott Rio Shelby. Well, welcome Scott Shelby to the team. He has like no thoughts. He has no thoughts in his head. Okay. I guess that happens. Men at the desk gotta be able to help. But kind of like for weeks. Hope I hit pay dirt this time. But is he? This is lies because he's not. Oh, never mind. If you okay, let me. Guess I better take the okay. stairs. I just spoiled the whole game. If you have, I don't know who's watching. Oh, maybe I don't know. Lauren Winters. Lauren Winter. Ring any bells? Nope. Can't say it does. Oh, that Lauren Winter. Five dollars. Third floor, last door on the left, at the end of the corridor. In the, the corridor. Where's that from? I don't know. It might even be from this game. Okay. And that's all you get to play as him. He has no thoughts in his head. Seems about right. <laughs> That's me, honestly, honestly. Okay, this is the one. Lauren Winter? Sorry, I only see clients by appointment. Wait. It's 50 bucks. I don't kiss and I don't do any weird shit. Fine by me. <laughs> 50 bucks for no kiss? Like, I can't think it's, uh... huh. Put your money on the table. You got exactly 10 minutes when the alarm rings. It's over, okay? 10 minutes? Oh my lord, oh. Well, she keeps the place pretty ship shape. I've seen whores that didn't give a damn about their living conditions. Nice looking girl, but too young to be the sort of girl you find holed up in a dive like this. Hey, she thinks I'm a client. I'm gonna have to play my cards right if I'm gonna squeeze anything out of her. Thing. You just give you money. You should take your clothes off. We ain't gone all day. Actually, I'm not a customer. Oh, shit, a cop. I should have known. What you want? A freebie? Is that it? My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. The families of the victims of the origami killer asked me to investigate the murders. I came here just to ask you some questions about Johnny. I already told the police all I know and I have nothing to add. Leave me alone. I understand, Lauren. I know what you're going through. Oh yeah? You know what it feels like to find your own son's body on a wasteland? I'm sorry, I don't believe you have the slightest idea what I'm going through, Mr. Shelby. The killer is walking around free as we speak. He'll kill again if he's not arrested. Hey, Johnny's dead, so what difference does it make? If we don't find the killer, there'll be other mothers who find their son's body on a deserted wasteland. But, but, but you're right. Why should you care? It's not your problem anymore, right?
would you want to know? How did okay. your son disappear? He used to go play with the neighborhood kids after school. It was pouring down something awful that day. I'll never forget it. All his friends came home around five. All except him. Did you suspect anyone after he disappeared? I meet a lot of pretty shady characters in my line of work. Sure, I thought of it at first. But it didn't seem to make any sense. I don't believe any of my clients could have done that to my Johnny and all those other kids. You want one? No thanks, I quit. That's brave. When did you sound the alarm? About eight o'clock. I began to get worried. I went all around the neighborhood. I went to the wasteland where they like to play. I went to see his friends. I called the cops about 10 o'clock. Okay, um, let's talk about Johnny. Because I don't want to talk about Johnny's phone because I don't want her to get offended. Is that it? No more questions? Um, Tell me about Johnny. What kind of kid was he? Donnie was really a good boy. Sometimes he fought with other kids who called me a, you know. In his own way, I think he understood what was going on. Time's up, Mr. Shelby. I hope you got what you wanted. Now get out of here. Another 50 down. Okay, pick up your 50. Well, if you remember anything, the smallest detail, give me a call. Okay. I had to try it. I don't, I don't like, no, really good order. <laughs> None of my business. I should just scram. What do you want, asshole? Lauren, is everything all right? She's just swell. Now beat it, loser! You again? If you're looking for trouble, oh, you found fuck. it. Oh fuck, oh fuck, bitch. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Oh! Okay, don't mess up her house. She says business to do. Shake, shake. Okay. Oh. 
chubby. You're big. Oh, fuck. Okay, let's keep it going. <laughs> I got scared. Okay. Yeah. I'll see you again, asshole. Are you all right? Better than him, I guess. Who is he? An ex-client who thinks he owns me. He was getting violent, and I told him I didn't want to see him anymore. Well, you should be careful. He'll probably be back. Sorry about the mess. Mr. Shelby? Yeah. Thanks. Oh. A little rough-em-up. I never hurt anyone, oh, Mr. Shelby. Oh. That's oh. me.